England captain Joe Root made his first century in red ball cricket since last July. England batsmen enjoyed time in middle, but James Vince removed cheaply. Ben Stokes likely to be specialist batsman in first test due to a back injury by Paul Newman for Mail Online. Published, 3.37 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 17 March 2018. Updated, 7 o'clock Eastern Daylight Saving Time, 17 March 2018. Joe Root led from the front here at Seddon Park as England enjoyed a productive day's batting to complete preparations for Thursday's first test under lights in Auckland. Root made his first century in red ball cricket since the test against South Africa at Lords last summer that launched his captaincy as England racked up 353 for nine in the 90 overs of middle practice against a New Zealand 11. There was also reasonable time in the middle for all England's batsmen but James Vince failed for the third time in three innings and is now vulnerable ahead of the pink ball test at Eden Park. Joe Root led from the front here at Seddon Park as England enjoyed a productive day's batting. Root made his first turn in red ball cricket since the test against South Africa at Lords in July. Ben Stokes hit 27 before he fell to an outstanding catch from Glenn Phillips, who produced an even better effort to send back Root for 115, and will play as a specialist batsman in Auckland even if the soreness in his back stops him bowling. Stokes bowled off one pace here and plans to have a proper workout in Auckland on Monday even though the England team have been given a day off. If England do not think he is fit enough to be their fourth seamer and fulfil his all-round role then Craig Overton is expected to get the nod ahead of Mark Wood to play at the expense of Vince. Then Dorad Mallon would move up to three with Stokes at five as England seek to get back on track in the two tests here in Auckland and Christchurch that end the long winter after the pain of a 4-0 Ashes defeat in Australia. Ben Stokes hit 27 before he fell to an outstanding catch from Glenn Phillips. Sorry we are not currently accepting comments on this article.